Hey Stalker, Evan with Stock Music Musician, and today I've got a really requested tip. This is going to be how to record MIDI data from Reason players onto your sequencer in Logic. Now I know you're probably super excited, you've been using Logic for a while, and now you finally have the ability to use Reason as a plugin, and you've wanted to take advantage of the really cool player features within Reason and use that to either control other instruments in, Re uh, in Logic, or even more importantly, just to put it on your MIDI sequencer, record that MIDI data so that you can tweak it, rearrange it, or use it for other instruments. And I've got you covered. But before we go any farther, I do want to invite you to download a Reason 11 cheat sheet. It's going to explain all of the Reason 11 instruments to you so that you can make a really quick decision about what's the best thing to use for each situation. It's got all, a lot of tips and tricks, so go download that down below. Now let's dig in. Okay, so what I've got here is just a basic uh, electric piano that comes with um, Logic and a couple of all Hall of Vintage reverbs because they just sound great. One's a plate, one's a room. And now I've got my soft keyboard here and so. So you can play some chords, can play some notes. It's okay, but uh, it could be way better if instead, and there is chord triggers and stuff and arpeggiators, but there's more fun stuff in Reason Rack. So, Let's start with the Reason Chord Player. So we open the Reason Rack, and now we go down to Players, and we'll use Scales and Chords. Uh, we want this to have a little more of a vibe to it, so let's make these sevenths, oops. So four notes would be the full set of triads, uh, the major triad, and then the fifth and the seventh. Oh yeah. Maybe an octave up. Let's make it bassy too. Open those chords. But unfortunately, there's no way to record this. Like, let's let's just see what happens when I hit record. So I'll show you. So all that's recorded is the single notes that I'm playing. It's not the full chords, but maybe you want those. Maybe you want to tweak them. Maybe you want to drop it on another track without having to run multiple reason racks. And then there's more complex use cases. So how do you do it? Well, as far as I can tell, there's not a direct way to do it in Logic, although maybe there is some way to do it in the MIDI environment. If you guys know how to do it, please leave it a comment and how you could do it with the MIDI environment. I got a little stumped. I'm not a logic expert. Don't know nearly as much about it as reason. But I did find a free plugin by AudioCR. I'll put a link down below so you can download it. And it's called MIDI Effects Freeze. And so basically what it's going to do is it's going to record all the MIDI data coming out of the reason rack and freeze it. And uh, so first I do actually need to, let's undo that. So we've got this note data here. And now the big thing that you need to know is that MIDI effects freeze needs to be at the end of your MIDI effects chain. So it's after reason rack. And now you hit this button to arm record and let's hit play. Make sure you're at the very beginning too. Okay. Now you noticed this section became full and here we're going to have the full MIDI data. So we can either delete and move here. Now we can turn off both of these, for example. And like we could add like a little fill. And then on the low end, you know, maybe we could uh, go for the scissor tool and like cut up some of the bass notes a little bit. We could do some velocity changes, whatever, but um, I 
and now you can kind of remix it on the fly and make it your own more. You'd probably want to play it better, um, but hey, you know, maybe quantize everything. That's not a MIDI effects freeze, that's on me. Um, and then if you want to clear it out, you can get new recordings. So another example would be if you wanted to get beat map or the drum sequencer or any of those. So we'll create a new channel here. And in this one, instead of the electric piano, what I'm going to do is just go for the drum kit designer. And if we open the... Um, and we do not... Um, actually, probably even... Uh, yeah, we'll stay, with the, we'll stay with the drum kit designer, sure. And then in MIDI effects, we could go to Audio Units, Reason Studios, Reason Rack Plugin, go to Players, and if we were to open, for example, Beatmap, and hit Run. We got a beat. And you can change the velocities of any of these, by the way. But there's no way, just like before, there's no way traditionally to export this data. So what we do, again, and I did record that, but that was not actually from here, that was from the keyboard. So if we wanna do it again, we just load another instance of MIDI effects freeze. Start at the very beginning, arm it, and hit play. And if you want to change it, you know. And now all of those changes, like if you wanted to perform it live, would be captured in here. Uh, it captures all the differences in velocity, everything. And so you can see, like, for example, here's where the snare builds up when I uh, tweaked it. And so this can just be a really, really helpful way of making much better music and taking full advantage of the Reason 11.2 features. Again, I'd really advise you to both download this MIDI effects freeze plugin and also my Reason 11 cheat sheet. It's going to totally speed up your workflow. One last tip for speeding up your uh, workflow is if we go to the mixer view here, we go to settings and save your channel strip settings, which means basically you could save, you could save it so that uh, you've got a reason rack and a MIDI effects freeze always on. And then if you wanted to use this combination, they would just be there. You could pull it up. You'd save yourself a few steps. So I hope you found this useful. I hope this solves the problem of how to record MIDI data out of the Reason players in Logic. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.